Well, today uh, we're moving on from Windsor and it's raining, but to be perfectly honest, it's quite refreshing. You can see hardly anybody's in the water. All the little boats that were to my right there, they've been constantly up and down. It's been amazing watching people trying to maneuver these motorboats while trying to take selfies. It's been quite entertaining to say the least. So they've got not a clue where they're going because all they're interested in what they look like in the camera. up there. It's the changing of the guard at 11 o'clock. Oh, that's the back of the, the white building with the blocks. There's the Theatre Royal. It's the tourists today. side here look, as you can see with the other narrow boats and things. Ten pound a night. property I must say. Wouldn't mind one of those. Oh, very, very nice. And what a lovely, lovely little bridge house alongside it. Look at that. Same stone as the castle. It's pretty too. This is Albert Bridge.
the sun. Uh, I've been bitten a lot. Last night we had a lot of rain. And we had a lot of rain last night. Uh, but I have to say, it was quite welcome with everything, although it was still pretty muggy though, wasn't it? We did have a visit down to the local brewery at Windsor called the Eaton and Windsor Brewery. And we had Mark and Julie more along side the little island that we were in, so we all went down to the pub together. Yeah. We enjoyed a, a glass or two of the very, very nice award-winning ales. Mm, that was a right nice place that weren't bad. Yeah. <laughs> so we held off, Julie and I went shopping this morning for essentials. And, um, and yeah, we're heading on our way down towards Runnymede. Runnymede. Yeah, Magna Carta. We have a Magna Carta beside. Hope you enjoy you this vlog, yeah. You can see over Mandy's shoulder. You'll probably see Mark and Julie. Oh yeah, there's Mark and Julie behind us. And it's quite strange sharing a lock with them, because obviously a wide beam and a narrow boat don't go together, but on the Thames lock we do. So that's been quite nice. Um, but it is really lovely here alongside the Crown Estate here. So you never know who's in, who's in the Land Rover that's just coming up around the corner on the estate there. Yes, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. And, uh, I wonder who's in there keeping an eye on us all. your boats to hire over there. I looked this up. This is Chris Cruisers, Chris Cruisers and their luxury six berth to hire this week, which is the last week in July. July. The luxury cruiser for six people will cost you £3,000 for a week. And it's that one there they're standing on. Just there, that will cost you £3,000. And the Lady Elizabeth next to her, that's the same as well. £3,000 a week. And today is changeover day. So they're just getting that spruced up somebody else to take out later today. This is a, a lovely, lovely little property. Beautiful frontage, which looks straight across. It's a great park. I wonder how much that's worth. Strange, but today is a Saturday, and uh, it's only ourselves, and we're on the move behind. But as you can see, this has got to be lunchtime now, is it? Oh, it's kind of and um, it's, um, it's half past twelve. Well, it's half past twelve, so it just goes to show that the winds a lot are very fair weather, but like us tough narrow boaters. spoiled today. Mm. So we're very spoiled today because we've got all this open water. Yeah, all right, so we're on the Thames here. We've just gone through Old Windsor Lock and for those who want to know, our speed is, if you can pick it up, is four miles an hour. And that's, we're going with the flow, aren't we? On this 
happens to be the first cruiser we've seen today. All we've seen is another narrowboat. So this is the first cruise and it must be getting on for one o'clock. Lovely old Dutch barge. Far better suited on the uh, on the river than they are on the canal, I must admit. It's a long one. But it's a long one, she's huge. Isn't that lovely? Really, really lovely. This is the old paddle boat. Lucy Fisher. Boat, Lady Lady Margaret Anne. Yeah, that's Magna Carta Island. Look, yeah, that, that's Magna Carta Island. Okay, Magna Carta Island. And there should be somewhere around here is a memorial. Running leaders on them on the tight left down bend. Is that where all these cars are here for? Maybe. So we are coming into Rennie Mead. Looking through the trees, you can see the memorial, the Runnymede, and the Magna Carta. Oh, just there. And it's Flat just there. there. Look, yeah, just there. The other side of the road. National League of the Blind marched to London. Yeah. He's very good, this guy. So each seat is telling two stories. Yeah. 24 stories, 12 six. All I'm hoping is the National League of the Blind Party for London. Assuming these, some of these are stuck on, aren't they? Well, I, 
Is it bronze? Is it all bronze? It looks like it's bronze. Yeah, because it's going, it's discolouring. Right? So what's this on the side then, Mark? What do you reckon that is? That's obviously some markings. Is this some prison thing? Oh. Look, it's on here as well. Those are the work, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Those are the working week, but that used to be longer, didn't it? Yeah. That's how much he was working out, how much he was charging. Um, minus 36. Yeah, that's what I was charging. Is she in prison then? Andrei Sakharov. Sakharov. Oh, no, he wasn't. Wasn't he a dissident or something? Was, no, he just says. One, two, three, four. Five. There's, um, just over where the cars are, there's um, pamphlets that we got asked from. It isn't, it's... No free man should be seized or imprisoned or stripped of his rights or possessions or outlawed or exiled or deprived of his standing in any way nor will he proceed with force against him or send others to do except by the lawful judgment of his equals or by the law of the land. <laughs> 